and what's up everybody it's hawksborough and we were are back with another rival stars horse racing uh video and so today we have a lot of big goals to accomplish um so let's get straight into it so last time i believe we talked about i think getting hummingbird surprise up completely leveled up there were a couple other things i can't remember off the top of my head um yeah so we also got hexagon cavern last time and he is absolutely gorgeous he is the same pattern as his mother just a different color so he's the same as a uh, hummingbird surprise with that varnish roan actually yeah i want to see okay nothing hidden interesting so yeah we'll work on getting him up as well because actually let me see something real quick okay Ooh, a little too far <laughs> interesting all right so i think the first thing we're gonna do we need to collect our payout all right so we're gonna ride tj's pick i don't know if we're ready for this Hmm. For a stallion? Interesting. Hmm. Alright, we'll we'll see how we do. Do a max bet. You know what? It's the first race of the video. We'll watch it. Waiting for the start at Bill and Court. All eyes will be on the favourite, number seven. Are they going to say her name? The field is away, and the favourite gets a magnificent start. No, they're not. Test Fury is right there. Still going, it's number seven. Test Fury wants the front. Sword Sun contending for position. Leaves Chime next. Number seven maintaining the lead. Straight Symbol gathering momentum. Putting up a challenge to Leaves Chime. Disputing with Acid Amulet. The race continues with number seven. Straight Symbol in second place. Two lengths away, it's Leaves Chime. Number seven at the head of affairs. Straight symbol in second position, just behind its acid amulet. Number seven, still out running the rest. Straight symbol in second spot. All right, Number there seven, we go. Look at that. Line, just holds on. Straight symbol, acid amulet gets the third place. Nice. That's what I like to see. Making some money. Oh, and we leveled up too. Good. Um. Oh yes, I did actually uh, take a moment to go look at the Steam page for this game, and they have actually added a lot more than what I thought at the beginning. So, um, a couple of things that they've added we've already talked about, um, like the cross country. We've talked about that in the last video. One thing they added that I found out about is now they have it to where instead of just showing you your prestige, it actually shows you the rewards that you will get with that prestige. So, you know, new race locations, new missions, uh, plus two more rewards, and that goes all the way to 20. 
So that's pretty cool. I like that, actually. You can go back and see all these. I wonder. Huh. Interesting. But, um, they've also added 16 new coat patterns. So there are, there's a chance to get 16 new different coat patterns. Um, right now I'm not focused on coats too much. Like, it, it'd be a nice plus, but it's not my main focus, obviously. Um, because I want to focus on getting the best horse I can, because uh, at the end of each prestige, you actually have to race against your rival. It's called a rival race. And I have to control that race. So when you go into a race, we'll pick a random race, uh, this one. Okay. You have the chance to either watch the race or skip to results. Okay. Normally, I like to skip to results. Um, I wasn't actually expecting her to win that, but hey, good job. Um, but when you do the rival races, you actually have to control the rider and the horse in, in order to win the race. Um, which personally, I hate that part because I'm not good at it. <laughs> um, I'm not good at it by any means. Ooh. Let's sell some of this stuff real quick. So now we have plenty of space. Alrighty, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some more story races. I'm not liking those odds. But we'll try. So we'll skip to results real quick. Um. Yes. Level 24, look at that, look at that. All right, so we'll go train her up real quick. So we'll max out everything. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to worry about agility and jump right now. Just because that's more for um, the cross country and we're not focusing on that just as of right now. What I will do though. Alright, hold on. Let me see. What are your stats currently? So... Here's my question. Do these full bonuses. Do they carry over into breeding? So what I mean by that is, is he still 60, 58, 59, 58, 58? Or is he 63 and so forth with all the plus threes? I don't know. There's one way to find out, though. We can set him as a stud. He's only worth 25,000. Ooh. She's almost worth a million hummingbird surprise, so we'll go to full stalls. Oh, wait a minute. 
I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, no, see, it doesn't carry over. Okay. That's fine. It just carries over in the stats of, um, when he levels up in racing. That's annoying. Because I feel like... Like, I get that it's added in after he was born, so the stats are kind of wonky, but... I feel like those should be the in there as well. When it comes to breeding. But that might just be me. Huh. That's unfortunate. I wouldn't breed these two anyways, because, um... That's his mom. <laughs> that's, uh, that's his mother. So let me actually, I, I can't afford a horse right now. That has decent stats. Yeah, see, they're all over a million. Hmm. She's not capped, which is good. We don't want her to be capped right now. We'll skip to results real quick. And we'll we'll definitely watch a couple races here. Um The sounds are kind of laggy on this right now. It's a little too loud. There we go. Yeah, I... <sighs> Hold on, let me see something. I, I'm doing this just to see... Snore example... I'm looking at their stats, their base stats, or level 1 stats as it says. So 60, 60, 59, 56, 60. So actually, I can't remember who he, who his father is. Okay. Okay, interesting. So we definitely improved on the stats because, yeah, see, we're making slow improvements. We went from 58, because she's a level 7 too. He, excuse me. And then, yeah. So we're slowly improving those uh, genetics with the stats, which I like. I like that we're improving the stats, but I wish it was a little bit quicker. So I think what I'm going to do here... Why do I have you? Oh, you're one of Hummingbird Surprises, kids. Okay. Honestly, I think I'm gonna sell him. Because his stats are, I think, actually the lowest stats. Actually, I take that back. Hollyhock Suspicion is the lowest stats. I think I'm gonna get rid of both of them. I'm going to sell both of them, I think. Because, I mean... He comes from a pretty good line, but... He's not... His stats are just not great. I don't think so. 
He's only gonna sell for 23,000, that's fine. Sorry. I hate doing that. And then I love, I love Hollyhock's suspicion. I love his name and I love how he looks, but, and he's actually, he's Sparrowheart's father. And grandfather to uh, Hexagon. But I need to have room for better stats and better horses. So we're going to sell him. He actually sells for less than his his other son. <laughs> that's that's horrible. Who do I have in the pasture right now? Oh, that's right. My boy. Vintage cactus. I love, guys. I love this horse. I love him with everything I have. He is gorgeous and he's actually, what? I'm curious. Who is your Okay. This was the stallion that I owned. Ghost Bang? Ghost Bang? Okay, and then... Okay. Okay, interesting. Alright, so we have two horses. We have a million gold now. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit more money and then we're going to buy another horse from the market. Because, uh, yeah, we need to do that, I think. One oh six. Pretty good odds, I'd say. I'm going to max bet. Skip to results. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, skip ahead till we get enough money. And then I will be back. So, yes. Alrighty, guys. And we're back. So, uh, as you can see, we have 2 million gold here now. Um... Did quite a few races, actually, uh, to get up to that point. Leveled up a lot. I haven't gone through and uh, trained her at all, Hummingbird Surprise at all, so I thought we'd do that together. Alright. I need a mayor, but I need a mayor that has good stats. Okay, so far not looking too great. I want to focus on the speed and sprint and acceleration more than I want to focus on anything else as of right now. So preferably levels, preferably be 60s in these three areas here. Uh, it's not guaranteed, of course, with anything, but... Cheese Chase is a... He's decent with his stats. He'd make a good jumping horse with that. Oh, man. See, now I'm getting all stallions. I don't want a stallion. Preferably a mare. Man, I'm not seeing anything I like. Stat-wise. These are all beautiful horses, but... Stats-wise, I'm just not seeing it. Oh, he's handsome. I like his... I love those spots. Yeah. Oh, I... F mm. He's a level 3, but he's gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
What pattern is that? I'm just curious. Our coat pattern. Okay, yeah, that's right. Oh! Here we go. Knight's Beach. 6059 and then 360s. I, mm, let's go for it. And like I said, guys, I'm not looking for what the coat looks like. I'm looking for stats as of right now. So. Okay. Alright, so compared to everybody else. So let me see. And then compared to Hexagon. I think they could do pretty good. And there's a chance for Varnish Roan, Birdcatcher Spots. Interesting. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna go ahead and breed them and see what we get. And we're gonna skip it because I'm impatient. Not the greatest stats, but... I think we can do better. I'm not going to keep this full, I don't think. The stats are good. They're actually an improvement from Hexagon. By like one point. For most of these stats. Except for jumping. Jumping is absolutely terrible. Um, but. But I think we can do better. I like, I like that though. That's a really good start. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to do that. And then we're going to see if we can find a stallion with semi-better stats. Caffeine Company has the same, ex or almost the same exact stats as, uh, Hexagon, he's off by one stat with this, uh, sprint. That's funny. We might go with Hexagon again, actually, because I'm not seeing... Uh, nope. I'm not seeing what I want. So if... <coughs> so, excuse me, what I'm looking for is if, if we have 60 speed, I want, because I think 60 is the highest, uh, you can, we can go right now with our prestige level, but I want to have 60 speed, and then at least one plus for each of these, so this should be, sprint should be 59, acceleration should be 60, is what I'm looking for. Ooh. I think for now we're gonna go with Hexagon again. And see if we can get a little bit better. And let's see. Let's see. I'm just curious. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll collect a payout because we do have a bit of a payout here. 32000 And we got a gift. Nice, nice. I like that. I like it. Alright. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. We got the money. I'm, I'm going to skip it because I'm impatient. Oh. Beautiful filly. But... I like the speed 60. We've done a regression on our acceleration. Not happy about that. And acceleration is important. Honestly, it really is. I'm gonna sell her. Because I just... I, mm, all the other stats are good. I like all the other stats. I'm okay with them. 
acceleration I am not okay with. Um, or breeding for quality. Alright, we need to do some racing. Get our money back up. Because we just had two million. Uh, and then... Yeah, we don't have two million anymore. So we'll go to this one. We shall... Max out our bet, because we're gonna- I'm pretty sure we'll win. I'd be surprised if we didn't, and we will watch this race. Alright, what gate number do we got this time? Number eight. They're ready to go at Bill and Court. Number eight is where all the money is in this race. Off and racing, Arctic Apple has begun well. Arm and Voice is showing early speed. Arctic Apple keeping the lead spot, just in front of Universal Galaxy, then Aesthetic Attack. Thunder's Traitor still in the last spot. The race continues with number eight, Ambient Flame, in second spot, just ahead of Universal Galaxy from Arm and Voice. Continuing around the track, it's number eight. Ambient Flame in second, pushing hard in front of Arm and Voice, going hammer and tong with Emerald Darling. Number eight leading the charge. Arm and Voice wants the front. Two lengths behind, it's Emerald Darling, head and head with Arctic Apple. In the straight, it's number eight. There we go. Number eight delivers the final knock, just holds by Arm and Voice. Third at the line, Emerald Darling. I Darlin. wonder why they don't say her name. Is that just a glitch? I might have to test that out with a... Uh... Yay! Level 29! You know what? We're gonna... We're gonna test something real quick. So they won't say Hummingbird Surprise's name. You are definitely capped. We're gonna put Hexagon in a race. And we're gonna see if they say his name. Because if they don't, then that's a problem. That might be a bug. Number two. Here we go, guys. Horses and jockeys ready for the off at Three Oaks. Hexagon Cabin, the favorite in an interesting lineup. So they'll say his name, but they won't say Hummingbird Surprise. Okay, interesting. Stalls back racing. Hexagon Cabin getting away to a great start. Also running well is Rivers Rose. Hexagon Cabin still outrunning the rest. Out deeper on the track is Estranged Banana. And then it's Rivers Rose. Closely followed by Mighty Mischief. Trying not to be outstripped by Crystal Extravaganza. 600 to race, it's Hexagon Cabin. Estranged Banana in second, just has a margin over Rivers Rose. Just behind, it's Baroness Ernal. Gossip's Prawn is the trailer. 400 to run, it's Hexagon Cabin. Out deeper on the track is Estranged Banana. Just ahead of Baroness Ernal. And then it's Rivers Rose. At the top of the straight, it's Hexagon Cabin. Estranged Banana in second place, putting up a challenge to Baroness Hurnal. Hexagon Cabin continuing to show the way. Baroness Hurnal in second position. Yay! He Hexagon won his Cabin first wins race. Estranged Banana in second place. Rivers Rose in third. That makes me happy. He won his first race. Yay. All right. Oh, okay. So we need, I want, I need to see something real quick. So if we go all the way back over here, that's a level 13. So we can't get to that just yet. Hmm. What are we... 
Ah. Okay. We have trained a horse to level 25 speed, I thought. Yeah. Hummingbird. Maybe... I don't know. Might be because she's already above level 25. So we'll probably have to do hexagon for that. Um... We'll go ahead and... Oh, no we won't. <laughs> We're gonna get more money first before we do that. Because that's a lot of money. You know what we haven't done today? We haven't done cross country. Not participated yet. Okay. Um... Yeah, obviously Hummingbird's gonna have the best stats for this. So we'll we'll give it a shot, see how we do. <coughs> I love how it says Burrow Farms. Alright, let me move my my mouse out of the way. There we go. I'm doing good so far. Good, good. The time to beat is 57 seconds. I think we can do it. Oh, yeah. <coughs> By seven seconds, I believe, actually. 51. Nice. Look at that. So we have to do this course, I want to say two more times? No, one more time in order to get to course three. Okay. Shall we do it one more time just so we can get to course three? I think we will. So the goal is to be our current time. Um, let's see. You've already seen that, so we'll skip that. Get straight into it. My question is, there we go. Hey, look at us go. Oh, we are doing good. I think we're definitely going to beat our uh, current time, hopefully, here. Look at that! I think it's like by two seconds. Woohoo! That's pretty good, I'd like to say. So now, yes, we do have the, uh, their course. Sorry about that, guys. I muted myself for a second because I had to cough really bad there. All right. And I didn't want to blast your ears with the cough. So, uh, next thing we're going to do is do some more races, get some more money, uh, because for one, 
I want to make sure we can have the money we need to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Level up our, uh, train up our horse, and then also I want to do some more breeding. So, it shouldn't be, it, it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one because that's the better one. Max bet. Let's go. Let's have some fun because, uh, the goal is to level her up completely and get another horse that is even better than her and her son. Oh, leveled up again. Level 30. We got five more levels for her. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back. 74. There we go. Boom. Max bet. And, I mean, the odds are definitely in our favor. So, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried at all. There we go. Nice. Yep, we're already back, almost back to a million already. 100,000? Let's, let's do this. Let's get that 100,000. Plus, whatever we make in winnings. Oof, look at that. Look at all that money. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We already almost have a million, so we're gonna go ahead and breed again. Uh, I wanna see one more time if there's... There is a horse. Yeah, no. We're gonna go with this again. We're going to breed them. And skip, obviously. Again with the acceleration. What is... Oh, I don't like that. We've got two 60s on sprint and... Uh, speed and sprint energy. Which is good. I love that. But... Acceleration. Come on. So... For those of you who don't know, acceleration is very important, especially towards the end of a race, because that determines if you can go fast enough to catch up to the other horses if you're in the back to get to the front or wherever you're at. It gives you a boost, essentially. Um, the question is... She'll only get... What, three points? Yeah. I think she'll only get three points towards that if we do him. Excuse me, sorry, it's a cult. I didn't see the cult part. Uh, if we do the stat bonuses. You know what? <sighs> We're going to take a gamble. Polite pain. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Polite pain. Jeez. Alright, so we'll feed them. Raise them up. And see how we do. I'm not confident in this horse. Totally. So let me see something. Let me see her stats. See, she's got good stats. See, I... This is it. I don't understand why... I mean, I could see it. it. So, all the babies are getting his crappy acceleration genes instead of her nice acceleration genes. Because they've all had one below what he has. Uh. Hexagon. Stop that. Alright. Uh, so I think this is where I'm going to end it off. 
Uh, we've had a pretty good episode here. It's already over half an hour long. Um, so yeah, we didn't get her all the way up, but we've only got five levels, so we should be able to finish her off in the next episode. Uh, we'll continue our, our search for the next best horse. Uh, and yeah, and we'll get more money. I'll probably, uh, do some racing in between episodes so that I can, um, get more money. But yeah, and without further ado, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you will, uh... And you can also check out our Discord, which will be linked, which is actually linked on my YouTube page, and there will be a link to my Twitch as well. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!